my hair. Mr. Hair wants to destroy your haircut. Let's escape. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't want to end up with a haircut like that. Also, interesting outfit choice for Mr. Hair. I think I've seen quite enough of what happens in this barbershop. I'm getting out of here. I gotta get far, far away from Mr. Hair while I still have this head of luscious locks. Oh no, this must be Mr. Hare's storage room. This is where he keeps all of his giant combs. <gasps> Careful, everyone. These combs, they poisonous. Proceed with caution, everybody. It seems like Mr. Hare is up to more than just giving really, really terrible haircuts. Now, I'm not sure exactly what Mr. Hare is doing with these poisonous combs, but I think we need to try to find out. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh my gosh, I think I'm running along somebody's ponytail. Oh my gosh, imagine how much hair gel you'd have to use to make this ponytail strong enough to support a person. Uh-oh. Okay, unsure if this is a bed of straw or a giant pile of hair, um, but it's also poisonous. Lots of things in this barbershop are poisonous. Now, I am pretty sure that this is the worst hairdressers that I've ever been in, but if you have a hairdresser horror story, if you've ever had a really, really bad haircut, tell me about it in the comment section. I want to know. Okay, so he has these giant can spraying hair dye. The spray is toxic, so don't touch it. Toxic hair dye? Mr. Hair, you are making a mockery of the entire hairdressing industry. Why are you doing this? You are not going to have very many returning customers. <gasps> Look, that's his favorite haircut. He gives it to everyone. Mr. Hair, you are evil incarnate. Ah, I gotta get out of here before he tries to do that to my hair. This blow dryer is pushing us away. Try to get past it without touching the clippers and combs. Oh, I will get past it because I need to warn everybody about Mr. Hare. See, I've got a theory about what Mr. Hare is up to. I think he's on a mission to make everybody look really silly. Mr. Hare calls that creepy thing Mrs. Fashion. I don't like it. So let's get out of this room. Mrs. Fashion, eh? Okay, that is creepy. It kind of looks like a Mrs. Potato Head. I am a little bit scared of Mrs. Fashion, so let's jump on these lipsticks and try to get away from her as quickly as possible. Do you think that Mr. Hare can communicate with Mrs. Fashion? What if Mrs. Fashion is a spy? She might tell Mr. Hare that we're here, and then he'll come with his scissors and he'll make us look rather silly. And then when we're going through life with bits of hair sticking out the side of our heads looking like this, only then he will be satisfied. Those hair ironers are big. I think you need to jump over the short part. Yeah, good idea, I'll jump over the handle. That seems a lot safer. If I try to jump through that other bit, I think I might get burnt. Look, a ladder. This might be my way out of here. Come on, escape route. And oh my gosh, what's happening here? Only one mannequin per row's hair is sturdy enough to walk on. All right, well, that is a shock. I wouldn't think that any hair would be steady enough to walk on, but uh, yeah, I'll just do a little testy testy. This seems sturdy enough. All right, let's get it. These are the strangest mannequins I have ever seen. That one doesn't seem sturdy. What about my brunette friend here? Hmm, maybe not. Blondie, I think you're the one. Genuinely confused about what anybody would be using these mannequins for? It's like you'd think they would be like a teaching aid to like learn how to, oops, oh, sorry, just ignore that I did that. You'd think it would be a teaching aid to like learn how to cut hair, but honestly, I just don't see the practicalities. Unless this is specifically for practicing using like heaps and heaps of hair gel or hairspray. That's the only, the only thing I can think of. Oh, hello, Sandy, it's this way. But yeah, I don't think that anybody is going to be asking for this specific haircut. I can't imagine that it would be very popular. Go to the hairdressers and you're like, I want a ponytail as strong as a bridge. I want a two-ton truck to be able to roll right over it. Just another one of the fine services that you'll find at Mr. Hare's barber shop. Leave looking ten times worse or your money back, guaranteed. Anyway, if we can cross the last ponytail, then maybe we can finally get out of Mr. Hare's house of horrors. Oh, nope, we are just in a storage room again. This barber shop is huge, huge and cavernous. I feel like Mr. Hare must be up to something else in here. But what? If you have any theories about what Mr. Hare might be up to, you let me know in the comments section, okay? Because we have to work together, otherwise we are all going to end up victims of Mr. Hare. Like, you might think you're safe, you're at home, you're on your computer, you're playing Roblox, you've got your hair in pigtails, you think you're safe, but then Mr. Hare sneaks up behind you and he cuts off one of your pigtails. These are the horrors that await us in the future unless we can put a stop to Mr. Hare's nonsense today. Ooh, what's this? Employee area only. What is this his break room? It's just got my friend here with a terrible haircut and he says that is one giant mannequin. Maybe we should slide down it. Yeah, sure. I mean, we can do that if you want. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now face down. 
Did I just slide down the ponytail? That was really weird. Okay, um, great employee area only. Is that just like Mr. Hare's favorite place to hang out? He like has a break and instead of going into eating some lunch, he just like slides down his giant mannequin. Oh, uh, sorry, I just stepped on a straight razor there. That's a bit dangerous, leaving these all out. I guess this might be the shaving room, but I really think that Mr. Hare could do a little bit of cleanup. <gasps> oh no, there he is! Wait, how does this guy always find us? Okay, no time for questions. Head through that exit on the left. What? I feel like we've gone in a giant circle. Oh no, this is a different room. Okay, this is really strange. How did Mr. Hare find us? <gasps> what if the mannequins are alive? What if Mr. Hare can communicate with the mannequins? And Mrs. Fashion is the head of them all. I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but I'm starting to think that those mannequins might be sentient. I think they might be an army of spies. All at the beck and call of Mr. Hare. Ooh, what's going on in here? He left these super sharp razors on. Try not to touch them, okay? Yeah, I mean, I will try not to touch them. They look extremely sharp and they're moving extremely quickly. Honestly, they kind of remind me of Roombas if Roombas were like extra hectic. I don't know, they're kind of cute. Like, I know that they're a little bit scary, but I think they're a little bit cute. Wait, can I not go through this door? Do I have to jump through the window? Oh, apparently I do. Okay, so this part will be tricky. Basically, jump from the very edge to each platform. Ah, oh, well, that is tricky. It's really far. But honestly, at least we've made it outside. That is a lot of progress, and hopefully Mr. Hare won't be able to find us out here. I don't want Mr. Hare to be able to touch my hairs. Ooh, that was a close one. <gasps> okay, this looks really promising. I just need to escape on this telephone wire. That should be easy, right? If you want to support me in my vendetta against Mr. Hare, you can subscribe to my channel. That's like the best support you can give me. And I guess alternatively, if you are one of Mr. Hare's mannequin minions and you're watching this right now, make yourself known by putting a scissor emoji in the comment section. Ah, he found us again. And now he wants to give us a shave. You'll never shave me, Mr. Hare. I've only got one hair on my chinny chin chin and I'm actually quite protective of it. Keep your razor away from my chin hair. Wow, this looks dangerous. Okay, this is a little bit tricky, but it's the only way out of here. This is the only way to save my hair. Oh, <laughs> oh no, my hair. <laughs> it happened. Mr. Hair will be delighted that I'm bald. Oh no, I got my hair back. Thank goodness. Actually, you know what? I have another theory. What if Mr. Hair is stealing these people's hair and turning it into wigs? I guess that doesn't exactly explain why he leaves all those sticky outy bits sticking out everywhere. Maybe he's just a bad hairdresser. Maybe he never wanted to become a hairdresser in the first place, but because his parents named him Mr. Hare, he just felt like he didn't have a choice. And now, instead of finding another career, he's taking it out on all of us. My friend says, these barber chairs must be haunted or something because they are rolling all over the place. Yeah, I don't know if they're haunted. I think they were programmed by Mr. Hare. Okay, so just jump out that window and we'll be free. Okay, vibe, I love being free. Am I, am I free yet? All right, see you later, Mr. Hare. Ah, he's still in the window and he's still not wearing a shirt. All right, see you later, Mr. Hare. Watch this hair streaming out behind me as I run away to freedom. Hey, is that freedom? That looks like the winner's circle. Oh yeah, we escaped the barbershop. But how will I get my hair normal? I hate to say it, but I think you might need to shave it bald. Don't worry, I think it'll look great. You stay right there, I'll get the clippers. 